Hey guys and welcome to another customization tutorial. My name is Roberto George and I'll be guiding you through this customization process and we are here with the project already open in After Effects CS4 um, and we're going to start by opening this uh, folder here named placeholders and we will check that we will have all the folders required to make the basic customization of the project uh, inside the one named assets we will find uh, the assets name uh, used in the in the project itself and then in the pre comps we will find um, a few comps uh, that may be customized to enhance furthermore the project and in the bottom we have a, a folder with uh, with the solids uh, so before we start with the placeholders itself let's check um, very quickly how to customize the background color uh, all we have to do is select this layer named background color and then go to your effect control panel and just select the color that um, that you want to use as a a background uh, you can also use a texture if you want to just uh, bring it in um, but in this case uh, all you have to do is select which color and you can apply any other color um, correction uh, effects okay so let's leave it as it is uh, inside this uh, main composition here you will find all the text that we will be editing in a, in a minute and if you uh, select the the, the shy button you will find much more layers uh, that you may want to use if you want to adjust the the project furthermore um, the background the solid background is not visible while uh, we have the shy enabled uh, but you may want to enable it if you want to replace the background by your own um, texture just import it to the project and then bring it here and disable the um, this last uh, layer over here okay I'm gonna press uh, the shy because we are only going to need uh, to work on this uh, layers over here uh, in in the bottom end we will have the the cartoon animation uh, compositions uh, which we will not have to to customize um, just if you want to to change the animation of the the project uh, then you will need to 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 change uh, the keyframes in inside this compositions here okay well let's um, let's go to our project and first of all let's change the colors of our cartoon and we will start by the pants just double click on the composition you will find an adjustment layer that if you turn it on um, it will have a color uh, a color correction effect if you go to effects control panel you may um, choose the color of the pants that um, you want to use uh, you can even make it more darker or uh, lighter and you can play around with the saturation of the, the color itself so you get the, um, the look that you require and this will be um, the process for all the elements in this case the pants and then we have the shirt color in the shirt you will not see uh, any element but you may want to enable uh, this layer named shirt just to uh, be able to change the the color once you are, are happy with the color you can disable it uh, so it doesn't interfere with the animation itself so all you have to do is select the adjustment layer above go to the effect control panel and select um, which color uh, you want to use darker lighter saturation and once you go as you can see we have the shirt enabled we have to disable it okay um, and there we go we have a new uh, shirt color for this um, for the cartoon and then we have the shoes in the shoes you will find two adjustment layers one of them is uh, if you want to choose uh, just plain black just turn it on and you'll have the shoes black 
um, if you want to play with colors the same will apply as we did for the others just play around with um, the colors and you will have let's choose a crazy color for the shoes okay something like this and <laughs> a bit more saturation and let's see wow <laughs> um, I'm going to disable this one and put it black so we don't have many colors. And then lastly we have the tie. Just select the adjustment layer as we did for the previous ones and play around with your with your colors. And there we go. A nice blue dark um tie. And this is it regarding the uh, colorization of the, the cartoon is easy as this uh, pretty safe uh, straightforward um, the only um, caution that you may have is once you are happy with the colors just disable the shirt and of course you may want to use the original colors of the project and to do that just disable the uh, not the original colors of the project the original colors of the cartoon uh, you have the link uh, available inside the project folder for the the cartoon uh, made by Pixadon, um, and if you go to the website, you will see that the um, original colors are these. Just deselect the adjustment layers, and you will have all the uh, original colors. So it's uh, an option open as well. And let's move on now. I'm just going to close these here. We're going to leave the icons. Now we can do it right now. The icons, the icons, sorry, will appear uh, almost in the end of the project. And one of the options that you will have is to replace the icons. You can do by either uh, right click on the icon that you want to replace, replace footage file, and then select uh, the image in your uh, in your computer. Or you can bring, I'm going to bring uh, another icon, uh, well I'm going to bring two icons here, both from, from um, Web Treats. The link is also available inside the project folder if you want to change the, the icons and use uh, Web Treats. Um, uh, you might want to check the, the website or you can use any other uh, icons that you already have. Uh, so once I have them inside my project folder, let's say I want to change my um, email icon. So I just have to open the email composition and I'm going to use the icon example 1. Just check. Yeah, I'm going to bring it inside the composition and holding alt I'm gonna drop it on top of email and there we go uh, we have replaced the icon or the incon the color is a bit um, off and that's because we have a, a color correction effect on the previous uh, icon if you want the original color just disable it and there we go we have the original color here this is it. Uh, you may, in this case, it's a bit wider than the others. You may want to play around with the scale. Okay, so it looks more. And if you want to apply a color correction, you will have to play with the values depending on the the icon that you are using. Uh, so it looks uh, a little bit uh, better. Uh, and there we go we have nothing to do <laughs> with our email but it's just uh, an example uh, we can change also let's say our Facebook and this is not doing here um, just bring our example number two and I have to select first this one and then holding alt I'm gonna drop it on top and there we go uh, this one is um, in a smaller size, so I'll have to play around with the size and see how it looks. Okay, and of course we have our um, 
effect control to to uh, play around with the colors this is the original color of the icon but if you turn on as default uh, you may change the color of um, the icon itself so you can play around with it and give it uh, the tone uh, that you want in this case it's a Facebook one so we're looking for a bluish uh, maybe darker not so dark okay uh, something like this and there we go we have a different um, different icon here and a different icon here so you can play around with these and replace all of them um, it's just a matter of taste and depending on the uh, the contacts that you want to show uh, for your clients okay so regarding the icons there we go you can close this now and let's go to our logo our logo will appear the first time in the screen right over here and all we have to do is uh, open the logo folder and then select our placeholder right click replace footage file and I'm gonna select my logo okay so there I have my my logo on place uh, if I want to change it just have to open the composition named logo I'm gonna turn on transparency because mine has lots of black and I can play around with um, with size. Um, can play around. Let's duplicate this one. And let's make a small mask. In my case, um, sometimes I want to use the the logo in a in a different. Uh, in a different way so here we have and now I want to do the same here and I'm gonna bring it on top and I'm gonna press S for scale and okay so I didn't change the uh, anchor point that's why it's but um, for the customization process will be uh, plenty it's not straight less uh, and so we have a different look whoops we have a different look to to our logo so it's more centralized uh, it has my um, icon let's say icon or the design over here and then the, the name and then comes our um, uh, website so regarding the logo you have uh, plenty of options and of course you can apply any color correction to it so uh, pretty straightforward as well let's go now to our photos or videos uh, we have photo the first one will appear right at the end sorry not at the end right over here so this will be the first photo or video so if you open the placeholder you will find just the solid and text that you may disable and um, I'm gonna bring a photo just this straight uh, very simple photo of me and my son I'm gonna bring it right on top I'm gonna press S for scale and let's say that you want to show uh, a design and there we go we already have our photo inside the project and will appear of course you have about uh, five seconds here uh, of showing off this picture you can play around and create uh, some kind of slideshow or very uh, transitions if you want to use different photos um, I'm gonna bring a video as well and let's do this for video number two. I'm gonna disable this too and bring video inside. Uh, 
regarding video we will have to play around with times as you can see we don't have nothing at the moment uh, but our timeline will show us where we are so depending the part that I want to show I don't know why but this video is not working um, not working very well with this it's giving me weird colors I think the video is probably uh, corrupted <laughs> Let me try again, bring it in, but I doubt it. It's giving me really weird colors over here. Just to show you that, yeah, yeah, it's broken, damaged. Um, just to show you that um, you can bring the video and then play around with the time. Because once you leave your timeline here, uh, we are 1 minute 12 seconds. If you go inside your photo video 1 or 2 or 3 or 4, um, this will be the respect uh, time uh, that will match here. Uh, our time needle here will be uh, the same as here, will correspond to this timeline. So uh, if you show this part here, um, okay, so now the video looks okay. <laughs> uh doesn't look okay anymore this is very weird uh but i will lose time on this later on not now don't want to waste your time um so we have as i was saying uh we can control like this we leave the timeline and then play around with the video here um regarding the video is this is it just video or photos just replace it and we can close now and go to our photos video text where we will find um, various frames frame back you will not need to uh, to change it um, if you notice when the the placeholder rotates we will have our back over here uh, which will correspond to our uh, logo once we change the logo it will automatically appear here for if if uh, for any reason you don't want to show it you just have to open the frame back and disable your uh, logo and in this way you will have just plain blank um, on the back of your uh, of your frames in this case I'm gonna leave it on I'm gonna close it and I'm gonna open frame uh, number one, which will correspond to my um, product number one, and I'm going to double click on the text and let's say me and my son Daniel. And for frame two, my broken video. <laughs> Okay, this was not planned, but um, it happens, so <laughs> there we go. Uh, if we go back to our project, we will have now our text uh, for the first and the second placeholder. And for the others, uh, the process will be the same. Just change uh, the videos in here and change your frames, your titles on the other one. Regarding the titles, you can play around with the fonts as well, uh, color, uh, different type of font uh, whatever suits your um, your needs uh, depending on the design that um, you are using okay let's move on to web address this is um, a difficult one <laughs> just kidding our first web address will appear when Robert shows uh, the first screen there we go our website so let's change this web address double click and let's move the timeline to the place that um, as you can see there's a small animation writing the website so www my new web dot com and there we go if you go to our composition so there we have our 
uh, web address and uh, the web address appears also at the end and also also here um, and this will be frame this placeholder here will correspond to frame number five which is our last one so the website um, you will probably um, well not probably for sure you will have to adjust uh, in two places one where it says web address and the other one uh, where it says the, the website so just double click www and we had my new web.com I think it was that that we chosen and there we go so we have four frames for the placeholders and then one last frame just to show our logo and our web address as a uh, goodbye uh, message or any other message of picture that you want to place here just bring it in uh, disable the ones here um, and it will show uh, in here so just depending on the use that you want to give for this uh, placeholder you are free of course to uh, to give wings to your uh, imagination okay so let's close this and this and we are now with our web pages and the web pages will be shown also in the screen okay so we have our placeholder um, all you have to do is as we did uh, replace footage file and select the uh, the page that you want to to use I don't have any at the moment now but um, just uh, take a screenshot if you are with a bit of um, uh, question on the size um, open use any like Photoshop any software to open the image and then paste make a screenshot of your the, uh, the web page that you want to show and um, if you open this in Photoshop just place it on top so you have the same uh, size and you will have no problems uh, animating the uh, the screen itself if you want to change the way that things um, are working inside the screen you'll have to go to the pre comps and screen and screen content if you open it up you will have the animation of the elements over here and uh, if you want to customize the project with in a different uh, in a different way uh, you may want to do that and all you have to do is just open this composition here and play around with the settings uh, we're not going to do that in here it's a uh, bit more uh, time consuming and we are here just making the basics of the customization so once we have our web pages um, we are done and we will only need to adjust our text I left the text for the the end but um, you can make the text um, at the beginning or uh, whenever you feel to it so uh, finish it up for the text uh, one of the options will be to scroll around your uh, project and with your timeline and then just select where we you want to change the text uh, this is uh, Joe whoops Joe with an E uh, let's say something different he, he is Joe um, if you want to select um, this one here let's say another message hello no with two hells um, welcome I'm just playing around with the sentences um, and then you can of course play around with uh, the font size the font type uh, colors everything the other way of changing the text will be to scroll down to your project and this will be by order so you don't have to to be looking to change but i prefer honestly to be changing the text and uh, 
adjusting right away. Um, all you have to do is double click and it will highlight our text and he is uh, on holiday and he is uh, don't know let's say simplify this my text two <laughs> this is easy <laughs> my text one okay uh, just double click my text three okay so this is uh, much more easy my text four of course it's much uh, easier if you are making a real project and we know what we want to to show off to our clients or to our um, target audience but um, as a customization tutorial it's pretty hard to to making names so this is pretty easy like this my text one two and three and four sorry um, so this is the two options that y you might consider to change the text just uh, scroll and use the text tool to select or just double click on your um, and yeah, as you can see when I select it will if you double click it will be enabled to uh, change the text change here okay there we go and this is it I think I'm not forgetting anything let's just uh, Dun 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 dun. I like this one. First time this happens to me, but um, there's always a first time for everything. Okay, uh, so all the text will be uh, the same. As you can see, telephone number, I could say 000 uh, dash. Mm, okay, something like this. Um, so pretty easy s and straightforward to change it. Um, <coughs> let's just check cartoon colors. We covered uh, icons or icons. Yeah, we covered the change of the logo covered, and then the photos or videos, text for photos and videos, web address, uh, the web pages, which are three but you can play around uh, with the screen content that we we saw here and make that more or less or place a video instead of the of the web pages you can uh, just um, play around and there's no no limits for that um, yeah this is it guys we already with 28 minutes uh, really sorry if I bothered you a little bit more than uh, necessary but uh, I wanted to cover everything um, that I remind of this project. Anyway, if you have any questions, any doubts, if you find any bug, any problem with the project, please drop me a line. I will reply as soon as I can, usually fast. Uh, and I will do my best to help you get the customization um, if you have any, any doubts, okay? Um, once again, my name is Roberto George. Thanks for watching and I hope to hear from you and hope you have lots of fun with the 